Channel is podcast. Oh. We are here. Dimitri is here. Jeremiah is here. Kyle and myself. Panel is podcast. So before Pierre showed up, because he was Panelist seven podcast. late, Jeremiah, you were talking off recording about Red Hulk's first appearance and how you believe that it was not quite what it was supposed to be. So when Jeff Loeb brought in Rolk in volume three of Hulk, he was laying little breadcrumbs for everyone to try to figure out who Rolk was. And very quickly, because this is in the early days of like comic book forums and whatnot. I mean, you were talking about it early knots, mid knots. Everyone figured it out. It was supposed to be Rick Jones. Like, it's very obvious. Jeff Loeb got pissed that everyone figured it out so soon, so he created the character of A-Bomb and made that Rick Jones. And so then it fell into being Thunderbolt Ross. And there's at least three instances, if I can remember correctly, there are at least three instances where General Ross can't be Rolf. Hmm. So we're going to be getting Rolf, it seems. And it'd be funny. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously going to be Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross. Right. But it'd be really funny if it was. <laughs> I wouldn't went big budget on an actor and then yeah be like haha we got you but i mean are we gonna get so, rogue for the long run because it is harrison fucking ford like he is old he's older dude yeah no i would say no this is a one and done my opinion one and Why done do or only hate? cgi going forward maybe just a voice for a little bit when he ran the thunderbolt he never powered down he's always hard yes he's always red hard and hot because you yeah. know he's got fire abilities as well yes yes he does hot red and hard a lot of people hate the name roll why do people hate the name frankencastle when frank castle came back as Frankenstein. Well, Frankenstein wasn't the name of the monster. It was the name of the doctor, yeah. Yeah, so just off of that is my guess, but <laughs> Rolk has no explanation <laughs> as to why. Yeah, I was like, I don't know if you can compare this to People Rolk hate the name Spock for hate. Superior Spider-Man. I love the name Spock for Superior Spider-Man. I don't like it. I don't like that either. No, that's trash. So if I just say Spider-Man, it can be confusing regardless if you're talking about Miles, if you're talking about Peter, if you're talking about Miguel. But if I say Spock in reference to Marvel, you know exactly who I'm talking about i'm talking about the time where Otto octavius took over peter parker's body no i think about the time that star trek crossed over in a novel format with the x-men what yeah you don't own that book it, it, <laughs> no, no. i'll send it to you if you said spock comes swinging in i'd be so confused i would 100 uh, imagine star trek and all of a yeah, sudden he's just out. Is it? swinging in I'm like, boy, whip. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just referring to that entity as superior like, yeah, no, that's way me. easier i mean superior, nothing else isn't there at least three issues of superior where it is peter running around in the body in that brilliant scene where peter gets to take over the body again when he's teaming up with green goblin and then switches in the middle the fight and goblin looks at him and goes it's you he knows it's no longer auto behind those eyes he knows that peter is back that moment those fucking five panels oh yeah talk about hard red and hot jeremiah is excited let's move on to a new topic mattel and hasbro are making a multiple year deal to collab just thinking about it generally you're like so what they're going to just like melt some plastic in each other's factories think about monopoly think about all of the titles that are owned on the other side we're going to have so many themed fucking monopoly and hot wheels everything you can imagine i, I mean mcfarlane is fucking pumping out lines yes. of dc how many lines does he put out a year nine ten granted they're only four to five figure lines whereas a marvel legend is usually a six figure line and they're all batman but mattel obviously using this as a great opportunity to do team ups i mean they already got the cobra kai teenage mutant turtles the street fighter teenage mutant turtles the stranger things teenage mutant turtles yeah those figure sets and they sell like hotcakes because most of them are target exclusives and target is doing toys right but yeah monopoly much my concern with that is mcfarland was able to knock down the price price of a standard six, seven inch figure by kind of doing a running line of $20 to $25 figures where a legend now is going to run you 25 to 30 at a big box store. And Mattel's Masters of the Universe, their turtles are all higher end. You're looking at 35, 40 for a figure. Mm. Are we just going to see that creep up now with all Marvel products? Huh. Make that gap even wider and make people collect DC more, in my opinion. The Marvel Legend packaging goes back to having plastic. Everything will be fine again. You miss your window so much because you're a coward and can't open your figures. That's right. A Monopoly movie would be cool, right? But Where'd no. you bring up Parker Brothers? They're not all together? Parker Brothers no. is owned under... Parker Brothers is not owned by Hasbro. No, Mattel. Mattel owns Parker Brothers, no? I thought so. That would make everything I said stupid. I thought anyway. you meant Monopoly, like businesses. That's what I thought no. he was referring to. Thank well, you. I wasn't, but I'll edit it to make it look like I was. <laughs> I mean, there's already a million Monopolies <laughs> of Marvel characters and whatnot. Like, I have three Monopoly Spider-Man. Right. One I bought can... just because it has Polar Rivera artwork. 
couldn't fight me. I'm sure he fucking did. But now I'm just thinking like He-Man, stuff like that, that they've owned exclusive. Anything that hasn't been done as Monopoly that's been on the other side is now going to get a Monopoly. What are we taking bets on for the first Turtles Monopoly? What's going to be Boardwalk? Probably Statue of Liberty. I would say that or like the news station. News station or Turtle Van. Turtle Van will be the train. They'll have the blimp as one. Straight out like the video game. So you want an arcade themed Monopoly. I do. Maybe that's its own separate Monopoly. Its own Monopoly. There has to be a level that has only been done in the video game. The Craven trailer that hasn't been released to the general public, but we've heard some rumors about. It's going to be R-rated. It's going to have Rhino as the main villain, but not the Rhino that we saw in Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man. My speculation is it's probably not going to have a Spider-Man, but if it does, that means it's not Andrew Garfield's. It's probably not Tom Holland's because that's the Sony-verse, and they're probably going to try and cross it over with Venom eventually, but they probably won't because it's not going to do well enough financially. Are we going to get a new Spider-Man or could this be a Toby or could this be Miles? Could Sony have a different Spider-Man? Can I throw a, a wrench into... You wrench it up. What if it's Ben? But who's the actor? It could be anyone. Timothy Chalamet. Tell me to the there we go. Why is that popping up? I saw that online. Why is he being rumored for Spider Man? I've never, I've this never, because the name that sounds fun to say. Chalamet. I've never even heard locked. of that as a thing. It's the first thing that pops into my head. Like he just works as like your leading role in a superhero movie about a teenager. She's that girl that played Wednesday. Yeah, it's going to be her. I say Jenna Ortega. Isn't that crazy? Jenna Ortega is going to be Ben Riley. I like it. How or, do you feel about that, Jeremiah? Ben if Actually, Riley. I'm okay with gender swapping. I would feel weird for a clone. Um, Honestly, I'd feel a little weird. Being that it's a clone of Peter Parker, like I would want it to be like a previous actor. It'd be too confusing if you're like, oh, it's a clone and it's also a completely new person that we haven't seen. I have a way out for you. Give us a way out. Kane doesn't look like Peter at all. But they're not going to do Kane before they do Ben Riley, And they're not going to do any of this. Spider-Gwen, could this just be her universe in a sense? Where I'd Peter be fun turns with into I'd a be, lizard? I'd be very happy with that, especially because Matt Murdock. Yeah, another name. We'll add to the list of <laughs> trash. Well, no, just <laughs> villain version of Matt Murdock. Where right. Him. It's good. There's a lot they can do, and they could pop actors over and it would be fine, but they're not going to do any of it. They're just going to have a crappy Spider-Man universe without Spider-Man, and it's just going to all be mediocre, just like Venom's been. Can I ask, why not Andrew Garfield? Well, the Rhino thing is what's debunking it. They stated Rhino's the main villain against Kraven. Not yeah. Giamatti. But that was the only Rhino we got, and it was a mech suit, and they're saying it's a traditional suit. I don't know how to feel. The actor that's mm. playing Rhino said that the whole movie, he's basically playing like your typical villain without becoming like a Rhino. He only really transforms to Rhino towards like the last battle. But is he know. like a half Rhino, half person, or is it like like a tradition. Apparently, he transforms to a rhino. I did hear something similar about the transforming and it being at the end, but I didn't know if that just meant he got a suit at the end. They might just be like saying that to us, but the people that saw the trailer were saying that you see rhino in transformation. Very interesting. Not enough of interest to keep talking about it, though. So let's move on to the new Flash trailer, as well new, as the Japanese the trailer. Bat- yeah. All right. So judging off of this newest trailer, what are we expecting this movie to be out of 10? An actual like good movie three, Michael Keaton and reprising his role as Batman 9. I'm saying a 9 out of 10 is my guess of what this is going to be judging off of Michael Keaton Batman sequel. Yep, I agree. Probably give it like a 4 out of 10, you know, keep it low. Probably not going to be good. 10 if it does everything that we don't expect. Like, because are we expecting like a complete reset after this or are we expecting yeah. more of the same? No, I'm expecting a reset. If they do it really well, 10. If they don't, 2. One of the lines in this trailer that is tripping me up is Batman talking about how he's fighting crime because he couldn't save his parents blah 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 and he turns and says but you did now is he referring to saving Bruce's parent and are we going to get a scene of Thomas Wayne and Martha Joker or is he referring to Barry saving Barry's own parents in which he never becomes Flash in the first place if that's the case right he's referring to Barry saving his parents are we sure I'm not sure rating this movie low mainly because I was a big fan of Flashpoint and I still am of all those books that are still coming out so that universe and what they did like movie wise they just completely like changed it so like I would have liked to see Superman be the one that was the subject whatever they want to project call. Superman yeah. oh you don't like that it's yeah. Supergirl that's the one change that I'm happy about it doesn't matter if it's Supergirl honestly but I just feel like the story is like completely different like it should have been Thomas Wayne that he was fighting with not Michael Keaton old Batman like it's cool it's nostalgic and I think that's what they're banking on is the nostalgia and everyone being hyped based off of that right but then where's this movie really going you know like that's that's the no. other thing. And I think that the, the same thing they said about Shazam 2. James Gunn announcement completely killed that movie just because 
no one cared about it. I don't know if it was good or not, but it just doesn't matter. Who cares? None of it matters. Like as soon as this movie's up, the whole new universe starts. So whatever yeah. is happening is definitely not what they're continuing with. You know, it's not going to be that flash actor anymore. They're just doing it because no. they were so <laughs> deep into the movie at this point. Right. And they know it's good. I mean, I truly think that between, like you said, the nostalgia of Keaton and it just being a good movie. And it also tying into Snyderverse, its strong points, which was, I'm sorry, but Man of Steel was a solid movie. Yes. And it did set groundwork. They just fumbled after that mm -hmm. and they didn't stick to it. But you're going to have the nostalgia there of Man of Steel plus Keaton Batman. Plus, it's just a general good movie. It's a nice way to wipe the slate and start fresh. I'm OK with it. This movie's going to make money. Oh, yeah. It's just not going to be good. But it does suck, though, to agree with Pierre. They are burning the Flashpoint card. Yes, it's reprising a role of a Batman, which kind of makes up for it a little bit. But losing Thomas Wayne, Batman, and then Martha Joker, they're not going to do another Flashpoint live action anytime soon. This is the closest thing we're getting, so it kind of sucks to know that. I mean, we don't know if it, like, ends with him, like, coming back. Oh, I made everything right. And you see Batman, and then he just breaks the motherfucker's neck. Like, we'll mm. know that's Thomas. I, just... I don't see it. I don't see it either. This is the clean slate. My okay. hope is they're going to follow New 52 very closely from that point on because they pretended that's what the Snyderverse was and then it was not New 52 because then they're talking about, you know, Batman and Robin in the sense of Damien. That's really before New 52. It yeah. stuck around through New 52, but it was really at its peak before that reboot happened. So I don't know. I think best case scenario is we get mostly new 52, but not so much when it comes to Batman and Superman, just everybody else. Like Swamp Thing, we know we're getting a Swamp Thing movie. God, I would I love to see that. them look at Snyder's run for that. I would love that. Like the green, just like that concept, that would make a great movie. Did you finish Green Hell? No. It's good. Worth the final yep. read any other input on the trailer it really does look like a batman movie with this new trailer the first logo that shows up is batman before the flash logo jumps in front of it like your fucking right. hat right now and then it just says the flash i was expecting to say world's finest or some shit like that if i didn't know that the flash was coming i mean ezra miller is a horrible human being we all know that try to separate the art from the artist new flash grant gustin just kill him so i'm glad you brought that up so rumor has it that there is going to be an actor from the flash tv show in this movie yeah, yeah. It wasn't confirmed that it was Grant Gustin, but a big character from that is going to be in this movie. Just the Flash show, or is it the Arrowverse generally? No, the Flash oh. show, specifically. Mm -hmm. That's what the rumor is, at least, that there's someone from the Flash Damn show, it. which is a very <laughs> easy rumor to create. And Ezra showed up in the Flash, which was wild, and that was years ago. I just ago. want a blonde Flash. That's my only issue with the Flash. I want huh? a dead Barry Allen. Why do you want the main fucking original <laughs> character's dead? What is your heart on for a dead Peter Parker? <laughs> Why do you want a dead Barry out? What time, the fuck? Time needs to pass. Time does pass. They don't need to kill the original person to move the mantle along. What do they call it? There's a term for it where it's like always is within like a five year span of like what's currently happening. Yeah, it's a it's rolling like time scale yeah i don't like that my pick for a new barry allen or wally west Ooh. timothy chalamet <laughs> shocker <laughs> i know i know guys didn't see that and one who's coming. that girl from wednesday Shit. <laughs> Jenna Ortega. How did Jenna Ortega? You don't remember what was said five minutes ago, do you? <laughs> Fan cast, the new Flash. And the reason why I say blonde, because isn't he blonde in the comic? Yeah. I don't know why every Flash that we've gotten so far, they're avoiding the blonde. They're like, no, we're not doing blonde. Not sure why. It's weird. Everyone just heard my wife just cheered for something. I have no idea what she was just <laughs> wooing. She wants a blonde Flash. I get it. <laughs> this is like a minor rumor because I don't have all the details. But did you hear something about he's Jack Reacher right now on Amazon Prime played Aquaman in the Smallville Oh, in Smallville, universe. he was also in Boise. He was Thad Castle in Blue Mountain State. That sounds I know right. who you're talking about. So they're saying he's going to come back. I think he should come back as Aquaman, to be honest. But what about Momoa? He should be done after this new one, right? No, Momoa is confirmed to stay. Ew. I thought it was going to be Lobo. Oh, you're right. No. That's a rumor, though. Oh, they should do that. That's all I want to say. That was an old rumor. rumor. Going back, my choice for Barry would be KJ Appa. Yeah. He's Archie on... Jericho. Oh, okay. They have um, to make him blonde i'd be okay with him being blonde i'm sorry wally west or either one of them was never a redhead impulse was oh. redhead, yeah i'd like to throw like a little little speculation okay Back on the rumor of someone from The Flash showing up. What if, to Kyle's point, they're killing this Barry Allen off and the person that we're getting is Wally West? No, not that one. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> that oh, was shit. so quick. That was so quick. <laughs> no, not that one. Anything but that one. Oh, man. <laughs> Give me yeah, Jenna okay. Ortega, not that one. <laughs> Does he have the right look of the character? Yes. But no. Just no. Okay. Fine. All right. I was so excited when they announced him, not knowing him. Fits perfectly. Like, this is new 52. He might even get, like, a silver and red suit. No, no. Have you seen him in any show since? No. Mm, damn. All right. Next up. <laughs> the Japanese trailer for the Flash movie shows everyone is a very big Flash fan. Japan probably doesn't know about what happened to Ezra Miller in America. <laughs> True villain in real life. Anyway, people that, you know, have more followers than us got to see the movie. And not that I trust their opinion, but rave reviews. But the content creators and actual critics are giving very, very good reviews nothing negative one of the best superhero movies ever isn't that is it, annoying are they looking through it with nostalgia glasses because of keaton oh, i'm sure i'm excited for it in just the sense that it's either going to be amazing or a train wreck all right to keep in this trend of the dcu james gunn has confirmed that he plans to introduce static shock let's go oh cool Keegan Michael Peel or whatever needs to be rubber band man. You heard about this too? I knew about it beforehand, but yes. Oh, cool. I don't know what you're talking about. Someone tell me. Keegan Michael Key is related to the original Static Shock creator. I think he's like a half brother. Half brother, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. I did see this and he didn't find out that he was related until, until after, after he passed. Yeah. So he wow. needs to be rubber band man. One, he's got the acting chops for it. Two, he fits the character super well. And three, he deserves it. His family deserves it. It's way too soon to start fan casting but i really believe if they do static shock right it could kind of be like the first movie and things branch out from there they could do a better job than marvel has done in giving different people something to rally behind i mean uh, we had the marvel universe for how many years before we got black panther and we finally got mm -hmm. like a good powerful black character movie and dc's That's already hitting the ground running for like with... 10 years yeah i'm excited for this blue beetle movie i just want to speak for our latin <laughs> audience i'm excited for this movie <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Took Thanks, 20 guys. years of superhero movies. We did it. Can we just touch on the controversy of them doing a facsimile copy of Static Shock 1 recently that they put in comic book stores? They went the whole nine yards to put out this facsimile version. They even put in a fucking poly bag. And the only way to tell the difference between the original and the mm. new one is you have to move the poly bag slightly to look at the fucking barcode. They did that good of a job, but I didn't think Static Shock needed it just because the print run of the original one was so goddamn high. The one that Pierre searched for right now is not only not that rare but also might not be in the poly bag which he might not have known had a poly bag and now he's saying to himself did i fuck up should i have got the poly bag well wait what if i'm gonna no, grade it what i have isn't a poly bag but my question is how badly do you think cgc wants to sue all of them for making these because it probably makes them nuts because if they oh. fuck up once oh. credibility is severely damaged where you're not recovering from should i scratch this off to see who we are what so, is that it is a scratch and reveal who Jane will be today. This is Unstoppable Doom Patrol number one. Should I? Yeah, I mean, if you want to scratch it, if you don't want to scratch it, don't scratch it at all. Isn't that rare? Yeah, it's rare. But when he scratches it, he can reveal how rare it is. It could be even more rare than it was prior to being scratched. We can't see you doing it, so for all we know, you might be switching the covers. Uh, definitely just, not. There's only one per store. Wait, wait. Look one down while you're store. doing it. Keep scratching. That's it. <laughs> Uh, Chainsaw none. Wow, that's so cool. That must be like the hardest one to find. I don't know if it is or not. There's a short video that wasn't as short as you would think it would have been. The four little furry animals laying in a circle talking about their lives, their futures, and their names that oh, they chose yeah. for themselves. I believe I might actually cry in Guardians of the Galaxy because although I know they're CGI animals, I only care for the lives of animals. If they kill any of those four furry little babies, I might lose it. What if they're off screen? Because I can only almost guarantee that we do not see Teeth or Floor alive other than in flashback. Teeth gotta go. Just for clarification, that's not how Rocket gets his name in the comics. The only one I care about out of all of the Guardians of the Galaxy is Rocket. The walrus. What I want more than anything, I want Drax to be dying. Mm -hmm. And when he looks up, he sees Moon Dragon and he makes eye contact and he has the realization that his daughter is alive. Mm -hmm. And then, and then he, he can go peacefully. Okay. That's pretty dark. Aww. Pierre is now Googling who Moodrex is. <laughs> 
<laughs> so focused. I don't think he likes the look of Moon Dragon. Only one bald bitch. There's too many bald bitches running around. You got Nebula. <laughs> you got her. It's too many bald bitches. <laughs> Only room for one bald bitch. What if Nebula gets her wig? If Nebula Just... wears a wig, I'll be even more upset. Will there be a three movie setup like this done this well? By Marvel ever again? No, I don't think they can. Maybe because I thought the second Guardians of the Galaxy was not good at all. What? Yeah, it was Hold lacking, on. but it wasn't. I want to fuck with your levels. What? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think that movie was like a five or a six out of ten. Like it was a very weak plot. Guardians two. I don't know. I think the plot held up. I'm starting to realize Kyle's grading is actually the one that's wrong here. Pierre, you gave it a ten, so I don't want to hear it. <laughs> it was a great movie. I mean, it's, it's not a, a ten, but it's not a five. It's definitely like an eight i think it's an eight or a ten eight, eight or a eight. ten eight, five or yeah. six rounded yeah sure 5.5 5.5 no, no you're wrong i don't think they can do another three movie set like they did with guardians like did with ant-man like they did with thor and cap i don't think they can introduce a new property and get three movies out of them what's next i mean it's when the x-men get introduced if the shiar empire comes up what's going to be happening with the scrolls it should be interesting if anything we could get a version of civil war too, but instead of it being like ground level, it can be like Peter ends up with the Kree and the Kree are treating him well and he's trying to tell everyone back on Earth like, hey, these guys are great and everyone on Earth goes, no, we know they're not and the scrolls are on Earth side and other Guardians of the Galaxies are on the Kree side or the Shi'ar comes in because originally Jason, the father of Peter Quill not Ego. Jason was a general in the Shi'ar army. It would have been a better movie if they followed the original plot line because that One was so fucking half percent. <laughs> Damn. Moving on. Ant-Man Quantumanium. That 7 out of 10 of a movie. At the end, when Scott and Wasp defeat Kang, one of my complaints was like, ah, oh, it was a little easy. I kind of was disappointed. This theory might make me make this movie a 9 out of 10. Why do I feel like I saw this TikTok? I probably sent it to you. Once the climactic ending has occurred, Scott is walking down the street and as he's walking down the street, there's a lot of people in purple and green clothing. He actually makes a weird face at one point of like, huh, that's weird. And they never show you why he made that face. And then the music goes and he just happily walks down the street. And then he sees some of the same people again, like a glitch in the matrix. The next scene is him with the cake in a restaurant for his daughter. And again, there's a lot of purple and green. So the theory is he defeated Kang so easily because Kang let him and he just threw Scott into a loop to keep him out of his way. And he didn't win he's just stuck in a fucking time loop and he just is going to keep thinking he defeated Kang over and over and it's one Avenger out of his way I right I really that. do that makes the movie amazing to me if this comes to be so that's actually what happened based off of my sources mm, okay. so Loki actually visits Ant-Man at the very end to the end of the series and he releases him from that time loop there's a leak from Pierre I just made that up I just made that up I completely <laughs> made that up <laughs> Pamela's fine The hat's shit, but the mic's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even a real fitted hat. It's a stretch fitted hat, and it's a fucking Dodgers hat. It's a snapback. It's not even a fitted. Oh, Jeremiah hat. moonlights as a I, lids employee. Well, I am a passionate <laughs> hat collector. I have what I think forty-one Astros hats. Mm. Mine was free from the store with the purchase of thirty dollars or more. I believe that. <laughs> <laughs> I bought mine because it was blue. That was it. Oh, you don't give a shit oh. about the Dodgers? Okay. Good. <laughs> I don't care about baseball at all. Well, my hat was $35 with $15 shipping, has a little hole in it, and probably is going to get me canceled. And that's Napa Know How. Pan Laura's podcast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a little song. Little song because you want to change the intro, so now I make, make I did my own little intro, intro. And you it's both were really podcast. very like, stop sending me things, just keep the original. No, no, I was fine with listening to whatever, but you've done such a good job with the original intro. Like, I don't know if there's anything from. you've done right, it's that original intro. Interesting because it's literally the thing I think is the worst. <laughs> I thought <laughs> lyrics to go along with it. Worse than the name and the logo? Oh, well, mm. I guess the name mm. might be worse, actually. I heard. Yeah, 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 that was a bad way to start everything. Woo! You know what I mean? Not really. No? Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> trying um, to picking up what you're putting down. The new intro for our YouTube videos are, is going to be very fitting for this episode. I'm completely lost.